mind stay on oh, him. Damn. He'll keep you in perfect peace. Yeah. So no matter what you're going through, <laughs> no matter what you're dealing with, yes. you can stay in peace. All right, all right. People will be looking at you and knowing what you're going through and wondering how in the world can you keep a smile on your face yes. and go through when you're yes. dealing with what you're dealing with. Yes, yes. My it comes in all types of folk. When you got decisions in your life to make and, and, and you really don't know which way to go. But he said that I've already went to the fall. Already. See, sometimes Lord is trying to move us to a different place in life. Mm -hmm. To a different scene in life. Amen. And when it goes to shifting and you start seeing some of these friends of yours or some of these people that you used to hang out with that start acting funny with you. Come on, come on. And he's trying to shift them. He's trying to move them out of your life because he has a different plan for you in life. Come on, come on. Thank you for the plan, God. We all have destinies in life and God is trying to take us to a new destiny. Thank you, Lord. So what you need to realize is that no matter what you're going through, he has already went to the front. Yes. Right. Thank that you. That you faint not. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. He was talking to Peter. Yes. Of all his disciples, mm -hmm. he talked to Peter the most. Yes, he did. Well, if you really look at who Peter was, Peter was one of these hard-headed people that was always into something. Mm -hmm. But Peter was a ride or die. That's right. Come on. <laughs> we all call our friends ride or die, but yes. see, yes. Peter was a real. Yes. That no matter what you go through, I'm going through it with you. Yes. Yeah, all right now. That's right. See, if you want to look at a friend, when you're going through the toughest times of your life, when you're going through the worst part of your life, if that friend is still there with you and they still encourage you friend. and they yes. still by your side, that's your friend. That's yeah. it, that's yeah. it. Yes, come on. But if you look at the ones when things get hard and, and, and they try to slide away from you. Right. Come on. When you need them most. Peter found himself in a bad position. Because he had told Jesus during this time, he said, no matter what you're going through, if, if, if we go to prison, I, I'm going with you. But Jesus told him, said, Peter, you're you going to deny me three times. Yes, that, that he said it. Sometimes in life, the Father has to go before you because he has already anointed you. He has already appointed you. On, and he has okay. already called you for a destiny. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in the midst of crucial times, we fall away. Come on. Come on. We find ourselves in backslidden position. Come on. That's it. That's Come on. It. Come on. We find ourselves getting further and further away from God than we intended to be. That's all right, right, all right. That's right. But see, got good news for you. No matter how far you done got away from him, mm -hmm. your anointing through Jesus Christ, he has already been before the Father. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That you faint not. Yes. In other words, he got his hands on you no matter where you are yes. in life. That's right. No matter what you're going through, he has his hand on you. Thank you, Jesus. For me, one of the most crucial times as a pastor, and, and, and I pastored for pretty much close to 12 years. You're still pastor. Okay. Amen. Amen. My first church that I had had a big, tall pulpit in it. And I was so happy and excited that God had finally called me to pastor a church and I'm sitting in the pulpit and the Lord spoke me to get out of that pulpit. Mm -hmm. But I kept getting up there Sunday after Sunday, he said, get out of the pulpit. Mm -hmm. 
He forbidden me sitting in a pulpit, and I have a reason. But see, I don't not what everybody else do, but I don't sit in pulpit. So that not meaning in the day, but see, that's just what he had for me not to do. Amen. But to make a long story short, after pastoring for 12 years, I wound up having to close the doors of my church. And for me, that was one of the most hurtful days of my life. And I'm glad that I have people around me that have prayed. I'm glad that God had already anointed me and I had already went before the Father for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because, see, I got mad and upset. Mm -hmm. I got mad with the people that I pastored mm -hmm. because they didn't do their part. Mm -hmm. I got mad with God himself because, see, I thought that he was supposed to take care of them. But see, let me tell you something. God has everything in his perfect place, in his perfect will, mm -hmm. and it's no matter whether you understand it or not. not. Come on, come on. Amen. He has already had everything That's in right. plan. That's right. When we going through things, to be one that is always encouraging others, Mm -hmm. See, some of y'all are probably, you're always giving an encouraging word. you always trying to help somebody, amen, but then you find yourself always in need of help Your yourself. Self. You're exactly. always pouring out, but nobody's pouring back into you. Come on. Right, right, right. right. But you got to realize that you are anointed to do that. And That's he says, right. if you fight not, you got to go through these things. Right, 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 right. 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 Yes. Doing... My time was not passing. I just decided I wasn't going to church. My God. Number one, the reason why I said I was not going to church is because, see, there are certain places I can go and certain places I can't go. Amen. Right, right. Amen. The ministry that is designed in me, mm -hmm. amen, just can't be everywhere. That's amen. right. The place that I have to go to has to be a place that say it has the same heart. Mm -hmm. That I Amen. Come on. So when my wife came and began to tell me about this church, mm -hmm. you know, I said, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to visit. Mm -hmm. And come to find out that they do have the same heart, mm -hmm. almost the same identical ways in which I had, because, see, I didn't do anniversaries. Mm -hmm. I didn't do any of that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but I thank God that in the midst of it, while I was out, God kept his hand on me. Yes. yes. Because I felt like then, you know, I, I could do whatever I wanted to do. I, I, I didn't have people to be over anymore. So I could do whatever it is I wanted to do. And I began to do whatever I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Anointed and appointed. Come on. Back up. But God said, I've already went to the Father. Come on. So when you come out, encourage your brothers. That's right. In other words, he said, he told Peter, he said, when you convert, yes. mm -hmm. encourage your brother. Yes. You look at that word convert, that word converge means to change. That's right. Here Peter is have been walking with Jesus all this time. Don't mean that he had not been converted because he had already been converted. But see, in this life that we live in, we go through conversion, from conversion to conversion. All these different habits and all these different ways that we got, he, he, he converts us from day to day. We all stand deliverance. Of some things even today. No matter how long you've been in church, there are some things that God needs to bring you out of. There are some things that you need deliverance out of that don't nobody else know but you, but you you, you got issues and, and you got your own problem. Come on. When you convert, when I bring you out. 
when you come out of your ways, when you come out of your habits, mm -hmm. you come back and you encourage your brother. Each and every one of us have our own distinct and decisive ministry, amen, that can bind in a church. That's right. But it's different. Mm -hmm. We all set a point. We're all different, and we are all created for whatever you are, whatever your ministry is, whatever he has called you to be, you designed for a certain crowd of people. That's right. I realized that myself coming out of the streets that I, I my message is basically designed for folks that come out of the street. Mm -hmm. For the alcoholics, mm -hmm. the drug addicts. Mm -hmm. That's who I was designed for because that's where I came from. Mm -hmm. People that love to fight. People that, got, that's where I came from. Mm -hmm. So that's the people that I'm attracted to when I minister. You need to look at the people that you hang around with or that you done been with. Amen. God has set you aside to bring those people out. That's why he said, when you convert, when I change you, those are the very people that I, you can go back. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Can't nobody go in a crack house other than an ex-crack head that has been right. saved. For real. Delivered. And changed that's and right. delivered by God. Mm -hmm. Well, let, 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 let me straighten that out with you right now. See, because if you got delivered from crack last week, you can't go preaching in the crack house next week because you'll be smoking. All right, now, say that. Come on. Come on. God has to prepare you and set you up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. When I convert, when you convert. Yes, God. Jesus is looking <laughs> at Peter. And he knows that he will become one of his most valuable people after denying him. That's right. After. <laughs> and after, he didn't just deny him. Mm -hmm. But when they kept accusing him, wasn't you, with, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't you one of the ones that was with him? Mm -hmm. And he kept them no, mm -hmm. no. And when they kept accusing him, he went so far as to cut some up. And one and five. He cut one and five. Oh, he didn't mind fighting at all. He had habits because when they came to God, Jesus, he was the only one that took his sword and cut a man's ear off. Right. So if, you, if, if we was to look at Peter today and examine Peter as a man today, he would be one of them same folks that you call thugs. Come on. <laughs> yes. But he was a real one. That's right. Yes. When he got saved, he was just that much mm -hmm. for Christ. Mm -hmm. So if we look at our life, we look at the things that we've done, and the worse off that you think you is, mm -hmm. the more you are qualified to serve him. Mm -hmm. Because he's looking for soldiers. He's looking for people that have been through some things. Mm -hmm. He knows some people that know what it's like to be in the bottom. Come on. He's looking for some people that know what it's like to be in the middle. He's looking for people that know what it's like to be in time. We all are each set apart for something. Come on. Jesus was talking to him, and, and, and if you go back and you look at the first part, he's beginning to have a Passover and, and, and having dinner with them, and, and, and he's telling them about what he's getting ready to go through. And, even that one is there that is that that there that's going to betray him, which was Judas, mm -hmm. which is a discerning spirit in which he had. He given all of us discerning mm -hmm. spirits. Yes, yeah, yeah. Amen. We know who's for you, and we know who's against you. Mm -hmm. When you get around people, and when you deal with people, you, you, and, and you start feeling something on the inside of you that, that, that it ain't something right about them, you just need to start listening to what your spirit is telling you. That's fine. Even when it comes to uh, dating mm -hmm. for our young ladies and for our young men, mm -hmm. when, when you dating somebody and, 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 and you feel that they ain't right, see, no, let, me, let me go and break this down come on. For, for ladies. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> the way the world is designed now is that there seems to be a shortage of men. 
then there's an even greater shortage of good meat. And we find ourselves in a place of desperation where you want to be with somebody. You need to be with somebody. And here comes somebody and he telling you everything that you want to hear. He look nice, he might have a few muscles or whatever, but <laughs> you just like that. But your spirit is telling you that he ain't for you. A lot of times we look over what our spirit is saying mm -hmm. and we go for what our flesh wants. Come on. What we want right then and there, but see, the Lord is already warning you and telling you, see, there's an old song that goes about everybody plays the fool sometimes. Let me say something. We're spiritual beings. Yeah, that's right. And God has given us something to know when something or somebody ain't right. That's right. So in other words, a lot of times when you find yourself getting played by somebody, they really didn't play you. You really played yourself yes, because yeah. you, they had already, the spirit had already warned already you that they wasn't no good for you. Mm -hmm. But hey, I just had to be with him. I just Come had on. to be with her. Mm -hmm. Come on. You preach. Follow your spirit. <laughs> Let your spirit lead and guide you. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. A lot of our young women don't realize who they are Come on. in Christ. Jesus. Help us love Don't know it. your value yes. of, of, of who you really are. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people be the went by what somebody has said to you. Mm -hmm. About what you can and what you can't do and what you don't look like and what you look like. But mm -hmm. see, you gotta overlook that. See, one thing we gotta do and learn about us is to learn to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. And when you learn to love yourself, and when you learn to begin to speak and encourage yourself like David, then you have to learn to encourage yourself. That's daily. Right. That's daily. Right. Yes. We can walk away from a lot of heartaches. Yes. If we just learn to listen to what our spirit man is telling us. That's right. She ain't no good. She ain't no good. I don't care what they look like. Yep. I don't care how I sound, where well they sound. Yeah. <laughs> when God sends the right man in your way, or send the right woman in your way, and I'm basically just going to stick on the right man. Yes. <laughs> The right man that comes your way, first of all, is going to be willing to take care of you. Not only take care of you, but if you already got kids, he's he, he, he going to bring those kids in and he's going to take care of them. That's right. That's right. He's going to make sacrifices to take care of his family. That's right. That's right. The man that said for you, it will be a man that's going to have the heart of Christ. Come on. Say that. Come on. Say that. Come on. His heart will be so much in a desire to where, that's my wife sitting back there in the room. Come on. And if somebody was to approach us and mean to do harm, whatever type of harm may be coming our way, I'm going to be the one to take the harm. That's right. That's right. He got to be willing enough to place himself in harm. If you get a man that runs off and leave you. Then leave him. Just tell him to keep running. Take off running. Just keep running. That's it. If you got a man that you got to take care of. Then leave him way ahead. I understand that we all go through things. Mm -hmm. But see, we're living in a place now where men are being taken care of. Mm -hmm. And that's not what God has called us to do. He's, mm -hmm. he's not called us to be in that place. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm just here to tell you this morning. Mm -hmm. That wherever you're in life, mm -hmm. God is bringing you out. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you're going through, he's bringing you out. And when he brings you out, you need to go back and you need to encourage. Yes, your brothers. Mm -hmm. Encourage your sisters. 
See, I, you know, just tell, look, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to smoke crack cocaine. As a matter of fact, I know just about any kind of drug that was, I, I, I know what it's like. Right. Been there, done that. Amen. But see, God brought me out. out. Yes. All right. Now. Yes. Thank and when He brought me out, I can come and tell you that He can bring you out. All right. And right. Nothing that you're going through that He can't bring you That's out. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Through sicknesses, through diseases, mm -hmm. whatever it is, He can bring you out. Amen. Mm -hmm. He is the cure for everything that they say they don't have a cure for. He the cure for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is trust in him. All you got to do is believe in him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Went through a thing when early 70s, early 80s in my life that I, you know, would shoot up. <laughs> Heroin. Cocaine. And found out some years later that I had, uh, picked up a disease from cheering needles mm -hmm. in which they said they had no cure for it. <laughs> said they couldn't do anything for it. They tried all different kind of medications, but mm -hmm. nothing worked. Right. I'm free of it today. Look at God. Look at God. I've been over two years now. They've been testing and looking for it, but, but, but it's not it's there. It's gone. That ain't nothing but God. I'm going to tell you which and I'm going to sit down. When a doctor diagnoses you, when he tells you you got cancer or he tells you that you got something, I took this when they told me what I had. I never confessed it. That's right. Don't claim that fool. I did everything they asked me to do. But I never told nobody that I had this. Mm -hmm. I, had, I, I, I wasn't going to give it. See, when you say, well, I got cancer, what you're doing is giving cancer per, per permission mm -hmm. to attach yeah. itself. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Jesus. As long as you say, I ain't got that. That's right. That's what they said. That's what they said. Uh, my God. You got to realize. You're, fine. You're talking good now. It's okay. She <laughs> that your words have power. Have power because we're right. talking good now. When God created this world, he said, let there. Come on. We're created in his image. That's right. Yeah. So when we say let there be in our life, yes, let there be healing. Yeah. All right. I struggle sometimes with bills like everybody else. Amen. But I guarantee you one thing don't never come out of my mouth. I never say I'm broke and I can be broke and have money right. in my pocket. But it's but in I circulation. We right. in between it's in circulation. <laughs> <laughs> it's circulating yes. back to me. Yes, it is. Listen. I never say what I can't afford. That's right. That's come in on. circulation, y'all see coming out of the streets, walking everywhere I go, going and getting wine here and there. And to walk because see, that was my destiny. And everybody looked for me to be in that place my entire life. My God. Nobody looked to see me where I'm at today. Amen. When I gave my life to Christ. You see, the way of thinking has to change. That's right. See, if my father owns the cattle on a thousand years, Ooh. then I ever have the mindset of a son who does own it all. That's all I'm talking about right there. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. When I look at my credit card, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it may not be good enough, but let me tell you something. I believe that I can have whatever it is whatever I want Whatever it is, I want. Right. I want. Hey, hey, baby. Hey, hey. Jesus. Because my mindset. That's right. I got a mindset to have the best. That's right. That's well, right. We're going to go to the hotel. Ain't no head. Amen. 
I go out of town somewhere. I, I don't stay in Motel 6 and Comfort. I got to have that's All right. right. That's that's right. right. Because that's where my mindset is. That's when I go to restaurants and sit down and eat, I got to go to the best because see, my mindset that's is right. that way. That's well, right. If I'm a child of a king, then I'm going to act like a king. Wow. I'm going to live like a king. I'm going to drive like a king. I'm going to dress like a king. All right. I'm a king. That's right. That's right. She ain't changed the way you think. Jesus. That's all I'm saying. While I'm mad at talking about a king, I'm going to make sure that the one beside me is a queen. Come on. Come on. There you go, girl. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Encourage your brothers. Yes. Amen. Amen. Encourage your sisters. Amen. Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Begin to treat yourself. Yes. Yes. Ladies. Love yourself. Treat yourself. That's it. Yourself. Yes. That's, it. That's, it. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Jesus. He want to take you to McDonald's. He want to take you to Burger King. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where'd he go? I'm going to take you to Hostel. There's other places. Better than that. Causeway full of places where you need to be eating. That's all right. Amen. You need to be eating steak. You need to be eating lobster. Lobster. <laughs> it's tough flour. It's tough flour. It's tough flour. It's tough flour. You are worth every bit. That's right. Of who you are. That's all right. You're worth it, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you this, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit down. The Bible says that when a man found a wife, mm. he, he, he found a good thing. A good thing. And attained the faith. Come on. That's it. Attained <laughs> faith. Let that be grateful to get up. You are so valuable to God till the favor that the man the gives and has to come through. Through you! you. Come on! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Jesus. You know, uh, Got me acting up now. Next week is my Jesus. 25th anniversary. Praise God! I'll be my 25th anniversary. We've been married for 25 years. Thank you, Jesus. When God put Adam to sleep, and took that reel. He gave your help and woke <laughs> him up and presented him. He was excited. Yes, he was. He needs to be excited about you. That's all right. right. 25 years later, I'm still excited. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> about the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I think I posted on my Facebook page last month. Uh, uh, the month before that, I was at work and I was saying to myself, why in the world? I've been married to this woman for 25 years. Why in the world, why in the world am I riding around right here at work thinking about this woman and can't wait to see this woman after 25 years? Can you stop that? That's good. That's good. Do that. Yes. Yes. God's love. Yes. That's the kind of man that God wants for you. But see, yes. you got to be able to wait on it. That's, yes. That's all. And, that and you got to be able to trust God and That's know right. who he is. My God. That's right. Amen. He may not be the man that you want. Yeah. Come on. But Ain't that right, Sister Williams? Because she told him on me. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I that looked funny, I face. dressed funny. <laughs> <laughs> I ate funny. <laughs> but God had chose me. That's right. He know what's best for her. Yeah. How about that? Amen. Amen. Wait on God. Amen. Good curves. Wait on God. Be of good curves. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody was blessed. I think I 